The chaplain wants you to let them send you home. The chaplain can jump in the lake. Oh, dear. He's afraid he might have influenced you. He didn't influence me. You know what I might do? I might stay right here in this hospital bed and vegetate. I could vegetate there very comfortably, right here, and let all the other people make the decisions. You must make decisions. A person can't live like a vegetable. Why not? It must be nice to live like a vegetable. It's lousy. No, it must be very pleasant to be free from all this doubt and pressure. I think I'd be... I'd like to live like a vegetable and make no important decisions. What kind of vegetable, Gamby? A cucumber or carrot? What kind of cucumber? A good one or a bad one? Oh, a good one, of course. They cut you off in your prime and slice you up for a salad. A poor one, then. They'll let you rot and use you for fertilizer to help the good ones grow. I guess I don't want to live like a vegetable, then. Danby, must I really let them send me home? It's a way to save yourself. It's a way to lose myself, Danby. You ought to know that. You could have lots of things you want. I don't want lots of things I want. God damn it, Danby, I've got friends who were killed in this war. I can't make a deal now. Getting stabbed by that bitch was the best thing that ever happened to me. Would you rather go to jail? Would you let them send you home? Of course I would. Certainly I would. Yes, I suppose I would let them send me home if I were in your place. Oh, yes, of course I'd let them send me home. But I'm such a terrible coward, I couldn't really in your place. But suppose you weren't a coward. Suppose you did have the courage to defy somebody. Then I wouldn't let them send me home. But I certainly would, wouldn't let them court-martial me. Would you fly more missions? No, of course not. That would be a total capitulation, and I might be killed. Then you'd run away. I guess there just wouldn't be any hope for me then, would there? Yes, there's hope for you. Milo might help you. He's bigger than the Colonel Cathcart, and he owes me a few favors. Milo and Colonel Cathcart are pals now. He made Colonel Cathcart a vice president and promised him an important job after the war. Then ex-PFC Wintergreen will help us. He hates them both, and this will infuriate him. Milo and ex-PFC Wintergreen merged last week. They're all partners now in m and Enterprises. Then there is no hope for us, is there? No hope? No hope at all, is there? No. No hope at all. Wouldn't it be nice if they could disappear us the way they disappeared the others and relieve us of all these crushing burdens? No. Sweden! Sweden? Or! Or? Sweden! Yeah! It's a miracle! A miracle, I tell you! I believe in God again, I really do! Washed ashore in Sweden after so many weeks at sea? It's a miracle! Washed ashore? Hell! He didn't wash ashore in Sweden. He rode there. He rode there, chaplain. He rode there. Rode there. He planned it that way. He went to Sweden deliberately. Well, I don't care. It's still a miracle. A miracle of human intelligence and human endurance. Look how much he accomplished. Can't you just picture him? Can't you just picture him in that yellow raft? Paddling through the streets of Gibbetrar at night with that tiny little blue oar. With that fishing line trailing behind him, eating raw codfish all the way to Sweden and starving himself tea every afternoon. I can just see him. It's a miracle of human perseverance, I tell you. And that's what I'm going to do from now on. I'm going to persevere. Yes. I'm going to persevere. He knew what he was doing every step of the way. Damn it, you dope! There is hope after all, can't you see? Even Clevenger might be alive somewhere in that cloud of his hiding inside until it's safe to come out. What are you talking about? What are you both talking about? Bring me apples, Danby, and chestnuts too. Run, Danby, run, bring me crab apples and, and horse chestnuts before it's too late and get some for yourself. Horse chestnuts? Crab apples? 
What in the world for? To pop into our cheeks, of course. Oh, why didn't I listen to him? Why would I have some faith? Have you gone crazy? Yo, Sam, will you please tell me what you're talking about? Damn, the or planned it that way. Don't you understand? He planned it that way from the beginning. He even practiced getting shot down. He rehearsed it for it on every mission he flew. And I wouldn't go with him. Oh, why wouldn't I listen? He invited me along, and I wouldn't go with him. Danby, bring me buck teeth, too, and a valve to fix and look of stupid innocence that nobody would ever suspect of any cleverness. I need them all. Oh, why wouldn't I listen to him? Now I understand why he was trying to tell me. I even understand why that girl was hitting him on the head with her shoe. Why? Chaplain, help me! Please help me! Get in my clothes and hurry, will you? I need them right away! Yes, Yossarian! I, w I will, but but where are they and how will I get them? By bullying and browbeating anybody who tries to stop you. Chaplain, get me my uniform. It's around this hospital somewhere. For once in your life, succeed at something! <clears throat> Don't worry, Yossarian. I'll get your uniform. But why was that girl hitting Aura over the head with her shoe? P please tell me. Because he was paying her. That's why. Oh my god, but she wouldn't hit him hard enough, so he had to row to Sweden. Chaplain, find me my uniform so I can get out of here. Ask Nurse Duckett for it. She'll help you. She'll do anything she can to get rid of me. Where are you going? What are you going to do? I'm going to run away. Oh no. You can't run away. Where are you? can you run to? Where can you go? To Sweden. To Sweden? You're going to run to Sweden. Are you crazy? Or did it? Oh, no, 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 no. No, Yossarium, you'll never get there. You can't run away to Sweden. You can't even row. But I can get to Rome if you'll help me. If you'll keep your mouth shut. When you leave here, give me a chance to catch a ride. Will you do it? But they'll find you. And bring you back and punish you even more severely. <laughs> they'll have to try like hell to catch me this time. They will try like hell. And even if they don't find you, what kind of way is that to live? You'll always be alone. No one will ever be on your side. And you'll always live in danger of betrayal. I live that way now. But you can't just turn your back on all your responsibilities and run away from them. It's, it's such a negative move. It's escapist. <laughs> I'm not running away from my responsibilities. I'm running to them. There's nothing negative about running away to save my life. You know who the escapists are, don't you, Zambi? Not me and Orr. Chaplain, please talk to him, will you? He's deserting. He wants to run away to Sweden. Wonderful! Run to Sweden, you serious, and I'll stay here and persevere. Yes, I'll persevere. I'll nag and badger Colonel Cathcart and Colonel Corn every time I see them. I'm not afraid. I'll even pick on General Dreedle. General Dreedle's out. It's General Peckham now. Then I'll pick on Peckham and even General Schweisskopf. And do you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to punch Captain Black in the nose the very next time I see him. Yes, I'm going to punch him in the nose. I'll do it when lots of people are around so that I may not have a chance to hit him back. Have you both gone crazy? Have you both taken leave of your senses? Yo, Sarian, listen! It's a miracle, I tell you! A real miracle. If Orr could row to Sweden, then I can triumph over Colonel Cathcart and Colonel Corn. if only I persevere. Chaplain, will you please shut up? I've got no time to waste. The hell with both of them. Okay.